Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee. Now we are at uh, our home studio, Blue Heron Arts, to do a live demo of a painting Chinese orchid. We have two beautiful plants here in our home. Uh, one is uh, dark and the one is light flower um, orchid. We call it uh, the, uh, both of them are ink orchid uh, because the leaf is kind of dark and uh, strong. Uh, that's a kind of uh, species we call it ink orchid, uh, mo lan in Chinese. It's one of the um, spring orchid. Um, you can smell it if you hear here. Very fragrant uh, orchid. And uh, we also appreciate um, the flowers of this particular species better than um, the other, maybe. Uh, so we <coughs> concentrate on the flowers today. Um, many of you, I bet, have not seen this uh, Chinese orchid in real life. Uh, so you can take a close look. It's a good uh, opportunity now. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. I'll make a high definition video later, uh, but right now I'm going to do a uh, live broadcast so you can ask questions if you have. Uh, any, let me see. I don't have time actually to answer questions, but you can address uh, as a comment. I'll respond later, okay? <coughs> I'm using um, a new paper we've just got in Blue Heron Arts. It's a sized. Um, sized shuan paper, or mature shuan, shou xian. Um, it's a single weight, but uh, it comes with a um, medium size. It's a, um, 18 by 27. This is half of it. Uh, it's about 18 and a, uh, 13 and a half. Um, I'm going to paint in uh, a quick study, maybe, uh, first. in. Um, watercolor. Uh, I put a, a white background, so I, uh, I, I'm not going to paint the, the uh, shadow or the light. Uh, concentrate on the flower. This is the difference be between Chinese watercolor and Western watercolor. I do use Western watercolor. It's a Hobian, um, Hobian brand from uh, Japan. Uh, so I just for you know the, the, the richness of the color, I like it. Uh, so I use a uh, yellow ochre and a little arim um, yellow uh, or lemon yellow if you like, and some uh, uh, raw amber to mix uh, yellow. Um, I I may start to do the dark one with this uh, yellow first. And then I will darken it. We all uh, we have all the flowers bloom now, but I will do a little bud um, to suggest, you know, the potentialness. Of, uh, so, so just do maybe two on top, and then start to do the blooming one. I really like the gesture of the the flowers. Uh, you know, we do it in five strokes, and you can see very, uh, very clearly the, the, the uh, three large strokes um, on the outside, or the petals on the outside. Um, and then uh, the center has uh, two strokes with the pollen, what they call the, the tongue kind of. Thing. So I try to follow the shape, uh, the realistic shape in this uh, study. But not exactly, because uh, in, in uh, painting we, we have the artist license to change anything. Right? <coughs> As you know, there are nine flowers on one stalk. 
In my class, many students do not understand how the orchid grow. So now you have chance to take a good look. There's a center stalk. Actually, we got two stalks on this uh, first flower. Um, so we have one short, uh, one long. Let me just do the short one. Um, I think I better do not cross the two. There is an, another uh, s s cut stand, like a, the old stand. So I can leave that stroke down there. So there is a three stalks. Uh, one is a old one, and then there are secondary. There are secondary. Um, stems uh, outside, you know, come out from the, the center stalk, right? Actually, the stalk has this kind of uh, sections. Each, uh, at the joint of each section, it has the, the flower. So uh, in, in painting, we really worry about the grouping of uh, uh, the, uh, the flowers so they can be overlapping. Let me uh, let me see. There, there's a one here back view, and uh, the side view one, and this downward. So notice the two sides are not the same. So I, I just follow the uh, what we learned in the in the uh, first class or the you know the master seed garden manual we will show you uh, the formulas. So I, I try to combine what I see from nature and uh, uh, what I learned how to observe the nature from uh, with some formulas I learned from uh, the uh, uh, the past. The, the, Old masters of Chinese painting, right? So you 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 don't have to uh, develop your own pattern. We follow a certain you know pattern that uh, passed down from observation of uh, the flower through um, generations of uh, study. Try to get the spirit of the orchid. So there is very um, elegant. This this uh, paper is very um, fine. So I can. Uh, it's good for flowers, right? They're not the the rough uh, texture like uh, the Western wa watercolor paper. But it, ha it has the same uh, kind of non-absorbency size, so it uh, it could be um, you can uh, add layers without a smear, even you know, wet into into wet. So um, let me just you don't have to really distinguish each individual because I have a group here three with three flowers uh, class uh, overlapping here. So I'm going to. Um, let me see. I can do another flowers to set the <coughs> structure of the composition before we do the leaves. I think that would be better. Otherwise, I can also do the leaves. Um, let me see. I think I will I'll just do the flowers here. The second one is a white um, version of the ink orchid. It's actually a light yellow, we call it uh, uh, white, because it's light. So I like that little bend, uh, but on the top. And then we, we have some green there, so I'm going to add a little cobalt blue, just to add a little green to it. And then there's a 
third flower uh, facing the second one. And that, this is curd, curly petal. That's very nice. So you can see the difference between watercolor and the Chinese brush painting is we consider each stroke is a commitment. Uh, you, you cannot like a, um, change it. You cannot change it. Uh, even though I can do that with uh, uh, this paper, this uh, raw, uh, I mean, mature paper, you, you, you could if you want to just uh, you know, take it out and change it. But I, I'd rather not. I got some uh, <laughs> ultramarine, it's too dark there. Let me just uh, dilute it. So uh, let me just do the stand, but I leave some uh, space for flowers. This, the center stock again. You should do it in one, one stroke, right? In Chinese painting. So that gives a movement. Like a very long. There's no, no, uh, maybe a little bit on the bottom, I can see that. So there's no leaf or anything like that other uh, versions like, uh, you know, it's not like, a, definitely not like uh, iris, you know, you see the leaves on, on this center stalk, not like that. The older flowers has more uh, brown in it, we just add some ochre. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just nice to see a real flower look like a painting, actually. Um, and uh, the younger the flowers is more green uh, on the green side. Let me just add a little blue to the tip. So I still um, know the brush like a. Uh, multiple color with multiple colors, so I don't have to go back to charge the yellow with green. So it's all on my brush. If you keep um, working without reload, it will create a natural. Um, more natural gradation, actually, or, or change, color change. If it's too dark, you can lift it. Okay. <clears throat> so I really uh, don't worry too much about light directions, shadows, that kind of. We actually consider all the, uh, the profile or the solo weight um, is. Uh, the stroke, you know, where the stroke is. And uh, we don't really paint um, the, the darks. Maybe, you know, we, we would do this on the leaf more, not on the flowers. You can um, actually charge some color for uh, the red version before it gets dry. Um, otherwise, you can, uh, I think we can do it like a gombi, you know, we draw the little details with line or something like that. I'll work on that later. Uh, let's change to a larger brush and change color. Oh, I forgot to focus uh, on the uh, paper so you may not see what I did. Anyway, it's, it will be um, 
you will be edited later with a high resolution, so now you may not see what I'm doing, but next you will see the, the leaves. This orchid has this very strong broad leaf, it's different than the classical wild orchid in the uh, textbook. So I would make some uh, nice green color. Because this red orchid has some uh, uh, dark in it, at, the, at least you know the, the stem of the flower is purple, purplish uh, brown. So I'll add some brown to the to the green as well. And I try to load everything from from uh, light to dark. <coughs> And we'll do that in one stroke. Okay, that's pretty dark. I like that. I got some uh, cello blue, some ultramarine blue, and some red to make it really almost like an ink. So that's an ink, ink, um, ink orchid named uh, you know from the dark leaves. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Uh, right now. So I omitted the, um, the part just to suggest to me. I w but I would suggest the, the root with all the leaves radiate from that, that the same, um, we call it a fish head seeking, seeking the same f food, right? <coughs> Okay, this is the challenge. I have to avoid um, the light colored flower, but uh, because of the darkness of the flower, later I will enhance it. So I, I just omit that. I, I mean, ignore the, the flower right now. I just go right across it. I can still see the flowers. Later I will reinstate the flower with dark color, that's the, the actually what it is, alright? So every um, subject matter, every object you paint may have different procedure. Uh, you, you have to find out what's the, the best for your approach. You can do the leaves first, maybe, you know, if the flowers are behind, you can omit that. You don't have to, but I just battery is fifteen percent. Okay, I have to go fast because I only got fifteen minutes maybe left. Stop talking. I try to find the the um, ideal uh, crossing pattern. We call it uh, the phoenix phoenix eye. You know the the three uh, petal crossing. But I have, I can also borrow from other other plants. We have a um, third plant actually on the far left side. That's a different orchid. It's not blooming, but it's more of uh, the classical example of uh, what orchid leaf should look like. Um, so I will do <laughs> leaves more narrow on this second one, maybe, uh, so you can relate to the class. Uh, if it keep doing this, you know, people if they didn't see the 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 ink orchid here. Uh, they might think you you did wrong. It, it, it looked like uh, the uh, iris, right? It is, but it's longer and curved. So you can see the, the leaves curves. Um, let me just do this one. Just one stroke, right? That's, uh, I like that that. Uh, Leaves curved uh, on the back, but it's uh, kind of hard to do. 
Oh! <laughs> Let me just make it up a little bit. So there's some dry leaves on the bottom and you can use some brown. Also give it a warm color. And the long leaves again. Let me do this on the, on the back side. I like that one. So let me just do two strokes. Yeah, you can go um, from top to bottom if you know you, you think it's uh, not going to destroy the rhythm. As long as, but uh, usually we do it uh, from bottom up, right, the way it grows. Okay, um, that's about it. And let me think. Uh, Oh, I have to reinstate this uh, dark flower, then we'll be done. Okay, let me go back to the flower brush. I used the uh, basic wolf hair brush from the set of three. I got some uh, rose madder, or you can use a crimson or uh, rouge in Chinese painting. And uh, I got some ultramarine, maybe, to mix, to get the dark purple color, reddish. Um, Purple color. So I'm going to just just draw some uh, dark. I think I, I just leave the yellow. If uh, you know, I don't have to repeat all the strokes, but it's just. I leave the center um, tongue in. Yellow. So just do the three. Outside. Uh, actually, there's a there's a red one uh, right above the the yellow tank. Cent the center. So I do the short one. Just reinstate the stand, and let me see. This is in the front, so it has to be in the front. And just do it fast, if you, yeah, so you don't have to look at. At this point, you don't have to look at the painting. Just concentrate. I mean, look at the real flowers. Just concentrate on the on the painting. Why did you do the first time the yellowish one? Oh, this uh, just. Uh, Make it. I see. I see yellow in the petal as well. You know, in the center there. Uh, it's also to um, keep some uniform. Uh, what they call this uh, harmony between the the two. So the the color, color this color include the the yellow from the the other one. So not. Uh, Isolated, they they are related, interrelated, right? The, actually, after all, there's the same um, same kind of flowers. I believe they have the same genes. The the, uh, the colors should somehow. I, I think there. If you look at closely, you can see the yellow in the purple, and the yellow and the purple is uh, um, complementary color. So if you use a yellow as an underpainting for purple, the purple would, would look really vibrant. 
I think that's the uh, same thing like uh, if you do the sky, you use some uh, orange color or, or yellow ochre as a, uh, so because watercolor or Chinese watercolor is the same, it's uh, transparent, it, it would show through, so that would just enhance it, you, you see that difference? Um, and then I will dot the center pattern with uh, some, uh, you can use the purple. We, we don't really do it like the real, uh, I mean the classical painting, we just try to make it more realistic. So, um, yeah, we can use, uh, I think the center for the white version is a little green, white, so we just use some uh, white with a light green. My battery is 5% left, so we should be able to finish this, I think, before it's gone. Su uh, Xingnan, we call it the, the white, we call it vegeta vegetarian, but it's called Su Xing. White, right? colorless, that means Su, su Xingnan. So this is uh, white. Just dot some uh, white with uh, yellow. Uh, you would, if I have time, I can also draw the parallel veins. I think I should do that with a, a basic weasel hair brush. Uh, you can use some dark, dark green color, a mixture of uh, the same color, just uh, stronger. You know, like uh, if you did the, the base with uh, um, natural milk, now you use uh, yogurt. Use some, some. I see some warm color, the red in it. The parallel lines. You see that in a real flower there. This is what I call uh, something between the xie uh, yi or spontaneous style and the gong bi. So you might. So it's a bonus, but since I add these uh, lines, it's a semi uh, spontaneous, maybe more pr um, pr proper way to call it. We call it less lesser uh, spontaneous style, xiao xie yi, or jian gong dai xie combine uh, gong bi between gong bi and the uh, xie yi. The center vein could be stronger, I can see that, and the secondary vein could be uh, more suggestive. I have to go outside the base, that's okay, so I just try to be more spontaneous here. Zijingyue, we call this. Um, it's a um, this poetic description of the color. Um, red uh, or purple, purple stem and uh, green leaf. That's a, the ancient poet called the, the, the orchid color. So let me just emphasize on the purple color there. Let me just do a little, the last leaf here. Uh, this should be behind. Let me just combine this. It's, uh, something you have to define it. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to sign uh, 
maybe here. I got some dark, just like black. So I write the. It's still New Year, so we call it uh, uh, how many days after the New Year sometimes. Uh, you, you, we just say the sec the the tenth day or the ninth day after the New Year. Um, where do you think? It's a sign right there. If you just here, if you just put a short one, I'll show you how to date it. Uh, just the the zodiac uh, the year of the hawk, you know, just two two uh, characters standing for the year of the hawk, and then here a name. I can write my full name. It's for for me, Li Xiao Hui. And so uh, means uh, pendant. I will use a seal later, maybe on this side, to balance the the red. That's why I put a signature there, it will be a seal. I don't have a seal in hand, so I'll put it later and show you the complete painting in uh, Facebook. Please add to uh, my friend if you want to. Um, I'll put a link to my Facebook as well. Thanks for watching. Um, Happy New Year still, uh, everybody. I hope you have a prosperous um, painting year. Bye-bye.